I just finished wiring up this robot, which is going to be controlled with this artificial brain. In one of the past videos, we actually controlled this RC truck with the artificial brain, but this time we want full analog output control, and that's what this robot is going to enable us to do. The main thing that I just wired up is this L298N motor driver board. If we look underneath the robot, there's two motors on this side, and there's two motors on this side. The left two motors come in and connect here, and the right two motors get wired together and are connected here. If you look, we have these really nice crimps. These are actually called ferrule crimps, which I use to make those connections. And the power connections come in here, and there's six input commands that could send through these wires right here. Here's a summary of how this works. There are four proximity sensors on top of the robot. The proximity sensor data gets sent out via this ESP32 microcontroller right here over to the ESP32 microcontroller on the artificial brain. The brain then processes those signals and the output commands last time got sent out via the actual RC remote control that we hacked from the RC truck. But this time, we're actually going to remove this controller altogether. We're also going to remove these switches on the bottom. And we're actually going to add in two more neurons. We're gonna add in a neuron here and here. So what's gonna happen is this uh, set of neurons over here is going to control forward, reverse, right, and left. And this new neuron is going to control the speed of forward and reverse. And this one is going to control how much it's going to turn to the right or to the left. All six of these outputs are gonna get wired back into this ESP32 and then wirelessly sent back to this ESP32, which then goes into the motor controller board here. So we'll have full analog control of this robot, which is going to be awesome. When this is powered up, you can actually see that the circuit on top of this robot is actually working. And this 7.2 volt lithium battery actually powers the circuit as well as the robot itself. The next thing that I have to do is just finish wiring up this artificial brain over here. That'll actually only take about a day or two probably. And I'll probably have the next video up in about two weeks. If you guys haven't gone back and watched my last video about how consciousness works, I definitely recommend watching that. Not many people have actually watched it yet. And then be on the lookout for this new video to drop.